Welcome back to Easy Entertained, and welcome back to episode 2 of Tell Me Everything. I'm your host, Ash, and I'm joined by Slater. Hello! The main key point to the last episode is that Johnny, having just lost his dad, he felt really shut in and didn't really know how to, like, try recover. But by the end of the episode, he meets uh, Mai, who is the pink hat girl, and they both kind of bond over having a dead dad. But it turns out that the only person he actually opened up to properly wasn't even telling the whole truth when she came through with that. So that was the main uh, cliffhanger coming into this episode. Don't jump. Did I just save your life? I wasn't going to jump. Kick off the episode as we're in a flashback, but we see a younger May and a mother moving to a fairly rough looking place with no dad to be seen. May asks her mother, like, where's dad? Like, why are we here? And she tells it off screen, but seemingly upset, just cuts off her fairly long hair. This sends us back to current day as we're in the counselor's office and uh, May decides, yeah, dad's dead. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Had enough. And yeah, it finishes with the scene we saw in the last episode where she goes to Johnny like, ah, oh, snap, you know, my dad's dead too, lol. <laughs> lol. <laughs> Johnny, meanwhile, cannot get May out of his head. He makes a joke saying typical, which is great because what they've gone through. He cannot sleep and is worried about the pink hat girl, as they both have dead dads. He saved her from jumping off the building and she was the person he opened up to. Johnny is not ready to have his secret revealed, and that's the thing he's most worried about. So I also see from like both these episodes, it kind of feels like she's just mentally f***ing <laughs> Yeah. Because, you know, you go, oh, this is cool. This is fine. And then you learn that the, da the dad's not dead, and you're like, oh, what the... Yo, Johnny! <laughs> Johnny, get out there, man! <laughs> get out of there! I think it's just you start to you start to learn that May is quite uh, divisive and will happily mm. manipulate stuff. He gets up to see his mum crying, but decides to take a scenic trip through Welland Garden City, a place that's like a dream, but not the good kind. May is in her house, and she asks her mum when she's going to get out of this nightmare. And the doorbell goes, but who is it? It's a dad. Ooh. She's upset because both her mum and dad lied to her. He reveals that he didn't know about Limway the whole time, <laughs> which leads to a social media stalking. Yeah. <laughs> the power of social media. You love Who's this, my yeah, dad? Yeah. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> see, if so, see if social media came about 10 years sooner, Jeremy Kyle would have never had a job. <laughs> <laughs> Louis is telling a really interesting story. Which leads to two points of interest. First, party at Louis, hey, over the weekend. And second, is Louis socially awkward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> There's no reality where Louis is not socially awkward. This gets interrupted by May, who Johnny looks quite startled by. He pawns her off as he rejoins Louis and Neve for playing the party. They're gonna get pills from pineapples. <laughs> and then this led me to go. What is the strangest dealer name you know? Don't do drugs, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, strangest dealer name I've ever heard. I, I've got one. It's it doesn't. It's not. It's not too like obscure. But it was. I was down in Cornwall at the uh, Boardmasters Festival, um, yeah. and on like the first day, you have this like Cockney guy going, "All right, and Pedro, I'm not your dealer. I'm your mate. Call me." <laughs> And then gave us like oh. a McLo he gave us a, a McLovin card. <laughs> <laughs> what a shagger! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I I when I was down in Hebden, mm. there was a, a pasty white guy who's who's who was a drug dealer, and his name was Chico. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why he was called Chico, <laughs> but I still ha I still have his number. <laughs> It's been, it's been like five years, I still have this number. <laughs> Lunchtime, and Johnny is greeted at the table by May. Her presence makes Johnny Johnny feel slightly uncomfortable. And even May are discussing the photo they just had to take for the school. How embarrassing it is, the school needs to act like it is so diverse. 
I don't want to make it sound really dumb, but I swear they are the two not white people. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've if you, seen if in you, the show if, so far. If you if you pan the camera around, like if you take that <laughs> scene and just take pictures of it, they are the only people who who are not white. <laughs> Until season, until episode four, where Pedro Pascal shows up because he's in everything that exists nowadays. <laughs> Him versus Danny Trejo, who looks more like leather. <laughs> Neve so. belts out that Louis's party is for everyone, and we get to see Louis try to talk to Zaya. It goes about as well as expected, and Louis just about manages to invite her in a way that doesn't make him sound like he's asking her to bone. It's, it's, just, it's just, you can come by. We're no gonna pump. <laughs> but we might. <laughs> <laughs> Neve asks May and Johnny how they know each other. Johnny clearly has something to hide. He is happily open about this and starts dropping hints, which Johnny does not respond too well to. Neve has lost her phone and Johnny goes over to find it, but not before saying, They don't know that I'm not okay and I don't want them to know, as he warns her off. It's a very, like, just want to make his friends happy, I guess. Yeah, because Johnny's Johnny's always kept that idea that he he is the glue. Like he he keeps yeah. them together. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to risk it by getting all fucking mushy on him. I'm just waiting for the episode five breakdown. <laughs> oh, it's happening. By the way, I did like this because May went. Get they were talking about. I think I think his name Mr. Horrocks, the 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 counselor who's yeah, actually a media studies yeah. <laughs> teacher, and she, May just goes. Yeah, you want him. You won't want him to talk you down from a ledge. And Johnny just looked in panic. You um, just look across his face. I like May, but she is not. She's no longer likable. <laughs> she's, she's, she's a bit of a schemer. Oh, you schemer! Where is it? I must have left it in English. Okay, I'll come again. Oh. That wasn't funny. But who stole the phone? May, for some reason. Did, see, did, did, did you notice in the in the first episode mm-hmm. where uh, May offers to take the picture, and then the phone suddenly it suddenly locks again, and so then uh, Neve goes and like opens it right in front of her, and you can see oh. May looking, which is a fun no, little I, detail that I didn't it, notice that. That's pretty good. That in retrospect you go, oh, that makes sense. I did. I did wonder at one point. I was like, "How did, did she just not lock her phone?" <laughs> Johnny is up late again and decides to take a quick scroll through social media to get his mind off things. First thing, but the first thing he saw was May's post saying, "Wonder what it would look like from up there," and it's a picture of the clock tower, which sends him right back into his own head, triggering another panic attack. I think it's a panic attack. Looks like a panic attack. Yeah. The next morning, Neve is trying to get her pickup from pineapples, but since she's lost her phone, she goes in person, which does not go well. On the way, she complains about her lost phone to Johnny, and we get both angles. The person, Johnny, who couldn't care less about his phone, and Neve, who's glued to it. The duality of man. The modern, modern day, is it now? <laughs> yeah. May is talking Lim Wei, and she ends up bumping into him walking down the street. He asks if he knows her, and she plays it coy and hopes he'll take the initiative. Uh, who is Lim Wei? The second, the second she's stalking and looking at social media, she's like, well, this must be the real dad. Yeah, Lim Wei is seemingly the real dad. And from what we can piece together, um, he didn't want anything to do with it. So It seems, to me, it seems like one of those, uh, what, how do I describe it? I don't want the kid, but if you want her, you can have her, but I'm not being involved. Yeah. Instantly, I was, like, I was like, oh, it's one of these kind of stories. May has arrived at Louis's party and takes the time to bond with Neve over schooling. May said she moved over because her dad died, to which Louis Yorker goes, wait, you know Johnny's dad is dead too, <laughs> which lands him a push into the pool. I just started laughing as soon as he goes, oh, for f- sake, Neve. You're not supposed to, you're not supposed to swim in loose clothing. <laughs> Just... And as this happens, Reagan and Zaya arrive. It's it's also as they walk in, it's the it's like Reagan and Zaya's like, have we arrived early? <laughs> yeah. 
Like they very quickly realise this party's wank. To be fair, I, re I reckon it was probably, it could be quite a good party. That's the kind of big house where you want just kind of oh, grab yeah. the mates, you know? Yeah, there's just so many different like groups of people just chilling. Well, getting getting off their nut, but you know, chilling. There's, pro there's definitely, there was definitely somebody in the kitchen speaking about the haunted. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Later on, May corners Johnny and asks him if he wanted to leave. He says no, but he's not hes not that convincing, really. It's kind of one of those. Do you want me to go? No. <laughs> I said me when I bumped. I said me when I was at a house party and my ex was there. And I was like, oh, f sake, here we go. The whole group meets up and decides to play a lovely game of truth and dare. Louis gets stuck with... I'm, I'm pretty sure Zaya goes, kiss someone. And he... Yeah. He, he, he stands up, he looks awkward, he kneels down, he looks into Zai's eyes, and gives her a kiss on the cheek. Yeah. Oh, well, Louis, no. you've done it again! <laughs> oh, no, no, Louis says, Louis says, well, you're the one who gave the dare. Yeah. So he goes over and goes, we, we smooch on the cheek. And, you know, in case this fun game of truth for dare wasn't tense enough, <laughs> May goes, hey, everyone. What's your biggest secret? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's just Johnny's face just drops. Yeah. Like, oh. But yeah. Zaya says something like influencer, like you know, sometimes when she looks in the mirror, she taps it to see if there's a filter on. That's, you know, nonsense. That's not being an M that's not being an influencer. That's just not having the right amount of chromosomes. <laughs> May kind of asked Neve, just like. Do you have any uh, secret crushes on anyone, by any chance? And Neve's like, nah, nah, <laughs> no way. <laughs> and it's like, hmm. And Johnny tries to bluff the question, but May goes, I know what, I know what Johnny's deepest secret is. But not before she tells them her secret. Just wrote, she's an absolute bastard. <laughs> Yes, like what a bit. She's genuinely making him feel a flurry of emotion. And turns out that she drove here. And this kind of leads to them going, let's go to the club. But Johnny and Louie are like, e I don't know, but they go. The drive there is terrifying. <laughs> see, the, the only problem I see with it is, see, like, I've, I've had house parties in the past. See if, see if it's your house, the party's in, you don't leave. <laughs> yeah, you don't risk it's, that. It just ends the chaos. You do not risk it. Also, the drive there is somehow mental, even for the people, like, the driver is stone cold sober. <laughs> no, honestly, it reminds me of when we were, we were driving down to, down, down to a festival, mm -hmm. um, and... We were, go we were originally going down the motorway, uh, but the motorway was shut for some reason. So we had to go down these back lanes at about 2 a.m. <laughs> My mate Jake had only just passed his driving test by like a week. Wait, <laughs> so, so you're telling me you made Jake take really obscure routes a week after he passed his test? Yeah, but the next bit is Jake went, Okay, let's rag it. <laughs> so we're just blitzing down these fucking unknown back lanes, and at some point we get to this stop. It's all we all, we, all, we only see dark. We don't see the road go down. So we just we just kind of go shit 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 because there was a very big chance that we could have all just died. Could have speed you were going as well. Oh, we were ragging it down. Oh, hi. Are we like? Really early. In the club, they score some pills, and Johnny's reality kind of goes empty again. He's in a club just by himself and May, till she actually walks up, and they dance. Zaya meets Louis at the bar, and he doesn't drink or do drugs. <laughs> he says, sorry that the party was a bitch, but openly says that he'd only had it because he thought she would come. Touched by his words, she gives him a proper kiss and they dance. Yeah, Louis. Yeah. I, I think I remember. I remember watching this and getting really hyped. But I can't remember what's the exact message I said to you. Let's go, Louis. Get her fucking pumped. <laughs> See, Louis doesn't really do much. 
but he is very lovable. Oh yeah, he's, he's probably my favourite character in the show. A guy tries to butt into the circle, touching the girls and make them uncomfortable, until Johnny pushes him, but gets pushed up against a wall. The man grabs Johnny by the neck, but May smashes a bottle and threatens to cut his throat. Jesus Christ! It's the fact she details which vein <laughs> she would stab to cause him to bleed out. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's hell. Like, you psycho! Jesus Christ! But the main caveat with this is everybody else is like, what the fuck was that? But Johnny's like, she saved me? She saved my life? That was great. That was amazing. To be fair, to be fair, I know quite a few people that that whole situation would be a turn on for them. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a tur turn on for <laughs> turn on for Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> As they get back to Louis, Neve and Lou go inside, and they leave Johnny and May in the car. It seems like they're about to have a moment, but Louis calls them in the house as it's been absolutely trashed. <laughs> they honestly aren't too fussed. But as Johnny goes back to see May, she drives off. This leaves Johnny unable to sleep again with his brain solely focused on her. He takes a plunge into the water, but he does fish himself up essentially realizing <laughs> And May seems fairly pleased with herself as well. I suppose at this point, let's take the time to kind of go. Yeah, the, 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 the Johnny and May is not, it's not the healthiest thing in the world, is it? Oh no. <laughs> Johnny has been pretty f fully open. May has been like open like a shutter door. It's kind of like Egh! it's kind of open, but it's still it's not it's not fully there. But 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 then again, in this reality, how long have they known each other? Yeah, that's true. It's been a couple of days, like max. Like, right? I was gonna say I was gonna say a week at most. <laughs> yeah, it, if, yeah, it's been a week. It's been about a week. I'd argue. I would I wouldn't expect them to like be this close after a week yeah you know? i guess it has been like you know they've been through the kind of like tense you know, you know how there's always the ideas that all, all the people tell you that the shit, like oh you know if you go on a date take them to like a theme park is that like adrenaline type thing that'll like bond you together i watch horror films <laughs> well there's kind of, there's been a whole lot of that because johnny's been on his toes a lot and especially with her like saving him type deal I guess, to be fair, they both saved each other. Yeah, because when he... Well, she saved her from falling. Yeah. And she saved him from... I will call it Clarence. I don't know. <laughs> Getting choked out. I mean, it's always the idea that maybe people shouldn't get into things once they're kind of mentally a bit ruined. But you know what? <laughs> Is that why you're asexual? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny gets up and laughs at how screwed Louis is. But honestly, Louis doesn't mind. Feels like it'll be a win with Gareth, it'll make him look cool, and that he had the best night of his life. Or at least he would have if May didn't didn't nearly murder a man. Johnny defends Louis kind of kind of pointing the finger at May and kind of goes on the attack. He's like, yeah, I doubt I doubt you could even get with Zaya. But they kind of quickly realize, yo Neve, did you did you ever actually like do find my phone? Like, <laughs> did you ever actually look? And she's like, oh, <laughs> And it turns out that May had stashed Nee's phone in Louis's room. But before they can kind of comprehend this, Pineapples has sent a message like, I'm coming to your house, you better have more money. And then as soon as we see Pineapples, I went, who is this low budget Russell Brand? Pineapples demands his money. May is having a crisis of self as she says she doesn't know what she is anymore, thanks to her mother. As she goes to leave the house, she sees Neve, who has tracked her phone's location. Before Neve can get in, she's shouted at by a racist old lady. Love it when the racist old lady covers for you. Yeah, it's just ne Neve's just wondering, and then the, the the old lady's like, "I knew it was you, lot, with your graffiti and you." <laughs> but Neve's and just like, "And your rap music." <laughs> Neve's just like, "Fuck off! I'm a grade A student." I don't, I don't get, like, what what she'd even done wrong. <laughs> yeah, it just existed. To be fair, it, 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 it is well in Garden City, and we've already established it's, it's not the most diverse. That's true. There's, yeah, there's, there's two, two non-white people in the class. I would love to see the posts, like, after they put that up. <laughs> what, like, like, comments, or just, like, them being really, like, 
Ah, oh, look at our amazing great day student. I don't know why they like that stuff. Stop this! I don't know who you are anymore. Neither do I. She's now been alienated by her maybe dad. Alienated by her real dad. And it's been terrible to her mother. This breaks her a little bit, as this is what she's been holding out for. I think this is the first time you can actually see the, uh, the you, you can see May's kind of world, like, crashing down properly. Like, within, like, good reason. Yeah. As well. But like, you, you can tell that she's genuinely just, she just wanted to feel like she's, uh, I don't know, I don't know the words valid. She's accepted. She wants, she wants to be wanted by someone. Well, she's getting that from Johnny. Yeah, but that's not the same as, like, a parental one, right? Well, the pets are kinkier. <laughs> Johnny asks his mum if he can invite May over, and she agrees, but Johnny can tell that something is off. It feels like if his dad was there, there would be a warming conversation about it. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like one thing we're slightly learning between any of Johnny's interactions with his brother and any of the interactions with the mum is that they are not a family who talks about things like <laughs> yeah no his, his brother wasn't even in this episode no where's andrew All bring right. him back the dad was like the dad I, I like johnny wants to be the, the glue for like me and louis you know the dad was the one that was like the, the yeah the glue part. of the family and that's kind of been ripped out. We are back to the school, and Johnny and Neva are talking, and Neva's like, I think May stole the phone. Johnny's kind of indifferent. And then we see May actually turn up. But the way the music has it done is it's, it's like, the, it's once again like that, like, romance thing where she's like, you know, she's happy to see him, he's happy to see her. And then, they, like, the, the good music's playing, it's all happy, and then Neva just goes, why did you steal my phone? <laughs> the music shuts off. <laughs> like, kind of sli slightly tense conversation kicks in. Hi. Did you take my phone? May essentially doubles down and goes, "There's no, I did not steal your phone. And Johnny kind of goes, yeah, stop it. <laughs> stop it, Neve, please. Just... I, I, I remember the third line, I actually like her. Yeah. May sends it all the way back home, because Neve is kind of upset with Johnny and May. May's mum explained to bit of her dad that he wasn't interested in her and didn't want to stay together. May comes out and hugs her mum, but says that, but still holding a grudge against her mum for not telling her, she says that the dad actually wants to be with her and is happy that she found him. All lies it got. Yeah, all bullshit, but <laughs> any, anything surprising about that based on her whole character so far? Well, I think not this is just her trying to, trying to cope with it, right? This is May's, like, like deep kind of secret that's, like, really messing with her. Like, you know, obviously yeah. Johnny's got his dad. That's the struggle. And May has the fact that she just feels abandoned, really. Louis is scrolling through Zaya's Instagram. It feels a little inadequate in comparison to the blokes on there. Neve steals money to fund Pineapple's payment and then tries to apologise to Johnny, but he doesn't respond and decides to go meet up with May instead. I like how Louis' way of trying to figure out how to. Um, <laughs> Louis' way to go, oh, they've got six bucks. <laughs> Google, how to get hench. <laughs> yeah, but see by, see by episode six, he's going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Coming out. Don't explains how he didn't sleep until he met her. They have a big bike ride. He asks if you ever have those moments where you can't tell if you're having the best time of your life or seconds away from everyone blowing up. Moments before Johnny and May kiss, of course. But we, we, we've kind of already seen that Johnny and May are kind of like explosive, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I, I like how they did this. It's still because there's obviously there's that level of danger there. And they're both feeling pretty numb because they're both just kind of feeling like left out or alone. But mm. together they like create fireworks. So that's what's like that sense of danger is what kind of binds them. It's just they both have, I guess they enjoy the rush at the same time, you know? Yeah. Like they're tired of feeling numb. They want to feel something. Yeah. Has Johnny made the right decision? Does he realize how manipulative May can be? Will Louis get hench? And how can Neve pay off Pineapple? Guess you'll have to wait and see in the next episode, 
but before we head off for now, let's discuss that episode and where we're at with the character. So I didn't really sleep until I met you. You saying I'm boring? Yeah. Yeah, what did you think of the episode? I don't think it's as good as the first episode, but I think this is more character building for later episodes. Yeah. If you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's, you see, like, it's, it's, this episode is just to set up what May will become as the show goes on. Hmm. There we go. Like, here's, like, for my, for my up kind of predictions, her and Johnny will get together, he will go to the house, Neve will come with him at some point and see the house that's the same one. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a divide between them, and then I reckon he'll choose his friends over me, and this will send her to a f***ing rampage. <laughs> what kind of rampage? Like, like an actual... It's like, it's like mental about with, with him. I suppose one thing I want to say in terms of like reviewing the actual things, I think it's a very strong episode, and I, the one thing that this show is really good at doing is just about when you think you're you're ready to like hop off the train it just kind of like goes yeah but have you seen this though and you're like no what the fuck? that's been here the whole time <laughs> yeah because there's also like by the end of the episode you feel like it's kind of johnny's getting set into the spot where he has to choose either his friends or his love interest you know yeah and it's like oh where's it gonna go but I think it also, like, yeah, sure, technically, the, the friends is the right option, but also the friends don't, the friends don't, like, know how he's struggling, so it's, yeah. ah, it's just, that's just I'm, a lot of good layers. Yeah, I also, I also feel like there's going to be a full, like, Neve loves, like, be the whole thing, like, Neve actually loves either Louie or Johnny, because the farmer's like, oh, do you have a secret crush? You can tell she's lying. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably Johnny, if I had to guess, but... I suppose if we just have one for all of, like, the, the, the key characters, you've done May, you've done me. Yeah, Johnny's no. just kind of going to stay in the bubble he's currently in. Mm. I assume he's going to get arrested soon, but it just kind of feels like that's how it goes. You know? Yeah. So well, these like, kind of shows he needs to get arrested. Kind of like point. a like spiral type situation. Yeah. Like he's he's not he's gonna not be... gonna like actually seek help. He's probably just gonna keep distracting himself. Yeah, and they're gonna use and it'll eventually turn into Neve and Louis trying to help him out of it. Right. And I, I I feel like there's gonna be Desire and Louis line like storyline will continue and Regan's just Regan's just kind of gonna be there, you know. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, you know, unfortunately not seen enough characters. of Reagan to really... Uh, she's a lesbian, that's about all I know there. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's more of a, a slow burner, kind of plays like a friend, but in the last, in the last couple of episodes we actually get her, like, plot line. Yeah, I think if I, if I try to pit myself back into when I watched it initially, I think this episode is... This episode kind of feels a bit like more of what they set up in the first one where you're just kind of like, oh no. Because, you know, Johnny and May keep getting closer despite everything telling you that you should not. Like, this is, this is, this is really dangerous here. But yeah. that like danger and that excitement kind of binds them. So it's kind of like, nah, Johnny. Cause you know, at this point we're, we're pretty endeared to Johnny. Like Johnny's a, Johnny's, I, I feel like every everybody kind of likes Johnny. It's, it's a shame to see him like suffer type deal, but we all kind of like him. Yeah, it's, it's. I don't know how to describe the way you feel towards him. It's just you want to see him do good, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like, like there's also about like that like subconscious bias. You're just like, yeah, I probably been through some stuff. Yeah, that's true. But so, yeah, if, I know how he feels. Even if you haven't been through like a passing, you can still relate to that. Like, oh, I've just, I've just been, <laughs> I've just, I've just stuck Down. in bed for the last like six weeks. I will see things I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing how the uh, Louis and Zaya type thing goes. There's obviously gonna be some fork in the road somewhere, right? I feel like Il Louis is gonna have that kind of character moment where he tries to be somebody he's not, and she's not gonna like him for it. I kind of feel, but. I'd say this full episode's about saying, not really describing why May's the way she is, trying to make what she does seem like not as bad as it is, but it's still like horrible the stuff she's doing. 
I'm not sure if this was an unintentional choice because May did cut the fringe herself, but that fringe is rough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know those videos where girls try to get fans? <laughs> yeah. Does pineapples live here? I have a guess. It's just creating more avenues for things to go down, really. In yeah. my opinion. It's just more sad, really. But it's yeah. sad in the good way that there's still the funny no. moments there's still this there's still the kind of like oh christ what, what's happening here then you know all of the, all of the key things that are good about the show are still here like the music's good and like i said before they play with the like oh happy music happy music it takes music but yeah and that has been episode two of tell me everything we have been easy entertained i've been ash i've been slayer and obviously, if you've been enjoying this, uh, comment down below. Tell us what you think about the series. Either like spoilers or not. Just just love it. Because I love this show. I think it's fantastic. And it's been pretty sweet to be able to actually <laughs> to actually bring it in front of an audience. Because I, I feel like this show's been... I, I don't think they promoted it very well. Because I've heard absolutely all about it yeah i'd never even heard about it until you said it to me like that's that's the biggest shame so you know if this can at least get some big attention towards it i'm i'm happy and <laughs> join us for the next episode tell me everything next week <laughs>